welcome back to AK Family Vlogs. We are headed down Mineral Creek Trail to check out the gold mine that was back there. And it is raining, but I'm going to be driving this thing. He's blind. Keaton's blind. riding back there. And over here we have talk with the T and the duct tape. I know duct tape. And coming around over here, we have Aaron. So that's our four-wheeling crew, and we're headed out. So how long was that? Six miles that we just drove? Um, seven. Seven? Yeah. Loading his gun. All right. Here's the footpath. And my good camera battery died, so we'll see how this one works out. It's really a beautiful trail so far. It'd be gorgeous on a sunny day. What is that? Gorge. Look, the whole in the river, Tim. Through that crack in the rock. Whoa. Wow. Can we go down there? Yeah, we can. Yeah, there is no down there. That is cool. What's that comment? We don't know. We can get a rock there, right? I'm not there for it. So the river narrows. Let's see if we can get the side. Like 
it according to my thinking. <laughs> Hey Aaron. Yeah. So, wh what is this place that we're going to? It's uh, called the Stamp Mill, and basically it's just two big uh, rock crushers that would smash up the uh, ore coming out of the mine, and then they, after that, they would mix the crushed ore with mercury. The mercury would hang on to the gold. So basically, it's purpose was crushing rock. It was built in 1913. So this was a gold mine. Stayed owned and it's still stayed owned. Of course we weren't exactly a state in 1913. We were a territory. <laughs> so I don't know how you say it's stayed owned, but the territory owned it. So I didn't realize they had a gold mine right here in Valdez. Because I know Valdez was a port where people hiked over the glacier to get to the uh, How long have you lived there and you've not noticed that? You can't notice stuff like that. Or know that, uh, I mean. Valdez being the new path to the interior gold rush was more of a hoax than anything, really. Mm. But it was kind of the place where people started off, right? And yeah, it was the second option after Klondike. Yeah. Because they would hike over the glacier into the interior. Yeah, to get to the gold mines, the big ones up there. So, if we could have got over that foot trail with the four-wheelers, then this would have been a good trail to four-wheel as well. Yeah. Well, it keeps going, too. There's going to be a river down here at the stamp mill. Um, keep there, but the, the road goes keeps going on the other side of it. Wow. going here and uh well push push the camera to see the rocks all the same. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. All the way around. So this was some type of building. Something, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's amazing that this is all that's left. Yeah. Good. That's the trail we're going to cross to get to, Tim, right over there. I think the gold mine is that over that field over there. Yeah, the actual gold mine. The actual so mine. you'll have it. I've heard there was a mine back here. You all haven't been back, uh, past here? No, we yeah, haven't, as far as we went. Is that. wonder where that one goes. Well, the rest of it. The rest of what? Across the river over there. I don't know. I'm thinking it might go to the actual gold mine because there was a gold mine back here, I thought. Yeah. Unless they shipped it into here, the the quartz and stuff, the golden the rocks. No. But I doubt it. I think they came back from over there somewhere where they had the mine. The thing about a flashlight, hopefully, it's outside. Of it.
that extra pressure. Well, yeah. this they... right here, Kim, held all the rocks. If you go down down there, which is pretty slick right now, but you can see the floor is kind of slick from all the rocks. They found a big cement pad back there, down there. Big old triangle cement thing. Super cool. Looks like more monks hood. And of course, since it's berry season in Alaska, bushes full of berries. Heading view of them up there. There's a, there's a V right up there. You look straight down the V and there's a river rushing by. Really? is fed from the glacier. You can kind of see a little peak of it right there behind the mountain. So it is cold water.
So we finally made it across the river. We're headed back to see where the rest of this trail leads. Talks, hope, is that we find the gold mine. Hopefully. So we're at the end of the line. So we're at the end of the line. End of the trail, we couldn't find any mine anywhere. We found some more ruins up there where the boys are. Over there you can see the old stamp mill. Did a little more than the 45-70 did. But as a rule of thumb, uh, slower it's going, of course, but uh, it's doesn't, not very good at penetrating. So, there's our ride. So, we made it to the four wheelers. Now we have a six mile ride back home. Um, it was a pretty cool mill. We didn't find the mine, which was kind of a bummer, but uh, it's just raining more and more, and we are soaked from crossing the river as well as from the rain. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>